Hey guys, this is Brian with Apple Headlines. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how to install the new developer build of Windows 8 using Parallel 7 on a Mac. Uh, Parallel 7 is the newest Parallels, and uh, we're running a Snow Leopard right now, but Parallel 7 does work with Lion. So we're just going to show you how to do that. Uh, basically, it's pretty simple. You basically just want to set it up like it's running Windows 7. So we'll just go ahead and we'll install Windows from a DVD or image file. Uh, I have it right here since I already did it. But go ahead and click on the ISO. And um, if you look at the post, it'll show you where to download these ISOs. And they are for free. So let's just continue. Just install it as Windows 7. Uh, no product key. And this is the 32-bit version, but if you want to try 64, you click that. I'm going to make it look like a PC. I'm just going to call it Windows 8 Dev. And let's customize uh, the settings. Uh, I'm going to give it a little bit more power, just so we can get through this a little faster. Um, it puts 64 gigs automatically as the size, so I'm just going to go ahead and make it a little smaller. You don't really need that much. I think 32-bit uh, Windows 8 is 16 gigs, and 64-bit uh, is actually 20 gigs. So that'll be interesting to see how they put that on tablets, but whatever. All right, let's close this and continue. Okay, this part is going to take a while, not even joking. So we're going to go ahead and just fast forward through the video so you don't have to watch all of it. But you can basically see that it's loading up. And uh, we'll, we'll wait so you can see that it's actually like unpackaging and stuff. And then we'll go ahead and cut the video because it does take a while. But um, yeah, so let's just wait a second. Okay, so you can see it's doing like the typical Windows uh, install, uh, at least since uh, Vista. So let's just go ahead and fast forward because this does take a while. And at one point, it's going to remain black for quite some time. Just wait it out. It's not frozen. It's working. And so I'll show you what it looks like once once we come back. All right. we might fast forward through some of this so yeah this takes way too long in my opinion so uh, we're probably just gonna cut in and out because this still takes a while um, yeah and we don't want this video to be you know 30 minutes long so um, let's just see how long this takes this shouldn't take that long Alright, so basically you can see it's like loading the desktop, uh, it still says installing, so you have to actually go up and hit continue manually and just hit OK. Um, you can see after it's done it runs pretty smoothly, I'm using the multi-touch right now uh, to scroll, as you can see it's definitely a little choppy, but of course this is like the first build. Um, a lot of the icons do not work. Um, 
only a few do. Uh, Windows Explorer works, control panel, you can check it out. You can see the new control panel and you know play around with that. Uh, it looks like you can stretch the screen out a little bit but I know I've heard that it gets a little bit it might turn black or something. Um, people are suggesting not to install the parallels uh, tools which is right here because it's the display I guess is just remaining black after that. Um, to get back to the Metro UI uh, just hit the command key actually command looks like it's the back button because if I go to control panel and then I hit it, it goes back if I go to desktop and I hit it, it goes back so um, let's try a couple uh, let's see I don't uh, none of these apps work except for control panel Internet Explorer does work but not from Metro see I'm clicking and nothing's happening uh, you can already uh, drag and move stuff if that sounds like something you'd want to do. Uh, let's see, Control Delete works, so you can bring up this menu. And there's the uh, ease of access menu. So yeah, it's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty cool way to just get a first look. Um, it's definitely not usable on a day-to-day -day basis, but uh, there you go. If you guys want to try it out, uh, make sure you hit up the posts. We got direct links to the ISO files. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry if it was super long and super not easy, but, well, I guess it was easy. Just got to be patient, which is hard for some. All right, guys, Brian from Apple Headlines. See you.